Last stop on our Inner City Golf Series was a resort just seven miles from Edinburgh to visit a James Braid design. The city might be close, but the park and setting suggests otherwise. The resort features two 18-hole courses, driving range and a nine-hole pitch and putt. I played Braid's East Course, which had previously held the Scottish Seniors Open and the Solheim Cup. And it all kicked off with an uphill par five. Stay out of the bunker. Stay out of the bunker. That's good, I think. That's a decent line. We've arrived. We're at Dalmahoy. The sun is shining yet again in sunny Edinburgh this time. We've changed city. Weather stayed the same. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm three holes in. And I'll tell you what I think about this place. Not now, in a minute. I want to give you what I thought was what I class as first impressions. So I'll tell you where we're at. We haven't checked into the hotel yet, uh, staying here for one night. But my first impressions are long driveway up. You're met with that kind of uh, country house building, historical looking, looks fantastic. Loads of character went into the clubhouse and uh, or the pro shop rather got checked in. Then you've got a start on the first tee. They're all really nice things that make it part of your day. So, so far we've ticked all them boxes and it's really nice. So I'm up for it. The sun's shining, beautiful first hole up the first and then uh, up, uh, par five up the first. And then you come to kind of like, there's the backdrop that you should see right now in a month or so's time is all rhododendrons. It was the back of the hole that you're looking now. They start to come out a little bit and it's really, really pretty. And then if we spin round and have a look at the tee shot I'm about to play, it's these kind of crisscross patterns in the fairways, the stuff we watch on the TV. It's got that uh, great sort of feel about it. It's, like I said, it just makes you enjoy the game just that little bit more. It almost feels like um, a bit of a, a special day out, you know, and uh, the sun is shining and that adds to it. Anyway, that's my first impressions. We're only on what is the sixth tee. I will show you the hotel at some point during this video and let you know what I really think of it. Anyway, I'm driving the ball okay for the last couple of days. It's been a strong part of my game. Let's see if we can get one off while the camera's on. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. I've started down the left and it stayed there. Sit down. Sit down, we might have a bit of tree trouble. I just thought I'd put the camera back on. I was bragging about how good I was driving it and uh, we had a bit of tree trouble. It could have been a lot worse than that because it's out of bounds. I just noticed some white stakes uh, along this left fairway. This is the six and I've just read the down seven as well. Um, we've got one just behind us you can't see. I'm in play is the good news. I'm actually all right. A few overhanging branches, but yeah. Uh, tree trouble could have been the least of my worries. Anyway, can we get one on from here? It's where we get one on and make birdie, isn't it? That is one shot, you know. I hope you're picking that up, camera woman. Sit down, ball. Oh, I've gone off the back. Wow. I was made up with that. Too big of a club. Right, time for some feedback from you. Have you played at Dalma Hoy? Who's visited and who's played there? So there's two courses, as you've probably just heard. Um, I've only played the one that I'm stood on right now, which is this championship course. And uh, I've got to say, mega impressed. But like I said, I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are. And if you do watch this video, does it encourage you to come and play? That also interests me as well. Let me know.
Right, I've got to say front nine so far and we're stood on the ninth and I'll explain why this camera's on but uh, lots of variation in the holes that you play. Uh, fairly easy walking course, bit of generosity again in terms of the fairways, looks superb, already said all those things. So I've really enjoyed my, very much feels like a day out so far. But the ninth hole is a real sort of special one, both uh, kind of visually and the way it plays. The first shot when I got to the tee box, I didn't record it because it was blind. It's a black and white marker on the brow, never really too keen on that. But then when you get over the top, this is where I've landed, which is not a bad position. We've got kind of, it's a par five this, by the way, Lovely stone wall, which is, like I said, visually really appear appealing. Rhododendrons in the backdrop, so it looks good. But now you've got this debate. I've got 2.30 into the green. Do we go for it? It looks, it's, there's a bit of room to the left of the flag. Um, or do you lay up? And I'm not sh too sure what the, uh, what most people would do here, what the members play is, but we're gonna go straight to the flag as soon as we've got that camera on, and we're on a bit of a day out. Don't leak it left, I think, is the... Uh, uh, don't leak it right, rather, sorry, is the... is what we cannot do. Come on, and. Oh, that's a shot, and. That is right in the middle of the green. Sit down now, and go. Sit down and go. That's a great instruction. We are pin-eye for eagle. I wish we had a longer lens on that because that is, uh, and I, or I hope we picked it up in terms of ball flight. That was a good one. I talked a good game there and uh, I'm glad we got that camera on for that. What a great golf hole though. Uh, this is a putt for eagle. And uh, I've never done that too many times and certainly not with a camera on anyway. See if we can concentrate a little bit. Come on, what a lovely golf hole. I haven't hit it, I don't think. Mm. No, I did hit it, to be honest with you, it got there, but it was never online. Uh, it's an easy enough tapping birdie, but I think uh, we better just do that and clean things up a little bit. But what an end to the front nine, like I said, stunning golf hole, and overall, so far, I said to my wife, camera woman, uh, just two minutes ago, that I'm actually really enjoying playing the course. It's, uh, that's the, you know, like I've said before, bit of a day out and enjoying it. Nice, and the sun's shining in uh, sunny Edinburgh. But I've just come to check this one. It looks an amazing hole. It's a 13th, it's stroke index one. It's 420 odd yards from the yellow tee blocks, which is where we're playing. I think it's 441 from the whites. I'm gonna fly the drone in a second or two, so I can't quite see what's down there, but it looks extremely narrow. I can see the flag in the distance. And of course, we've got to put the uh, camera back on, see how we get on. Now, I was telling you how good I was driving. But you might have just heard a, a yellow four, uh, four just a few holes ago. I've lost it a little bit. And we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need to get this one going down the middle. As you can see, avoid that tree on the left. Oh, get by it, get by it. Yeah, it has done. It's literally hugging the left hand side. I don't know what I'll leave us in terms of uh, whether we'll have something to deal with in terms of overhanging or whatever, but we'll, uh, we just snuck by, by that tree, the big oak on the left-hand side, but you've seen the drone footage already by now, so you'll know what I, uh, awaits me. I've not seen it yet. I've just been speaking to someone we met earlier before we, uh, we went up and uh, 13 and 14, they run parallel up and down in this what is a very sort of mature tree line. 
and uh, what he told me was these two new two holes are newly laid 13 and 14 been down about 15 years and you would never believe that because it's so mature as you can see the tree line they've been built into they're also both extremely tight off the tee with this one stroke five i'm not sure driver's the right play it's 371 but we're going to go off that sort of you want a little bit of left to right ideally Oh, look at that ball flight. Wow. That's a shot and, and it's kicking as well. That's scooted down there. Well, we'll take that, but yeah, two really nice golf holes. Dalmahoy is the perfect golf resort. Generous fairways, large greens, make it very playable. And it was in immaculate condition. finish as we started on a par five playing your way back to the hotel and clubhouse it was time to get booked into our hotel room enjoy some food and drink and start planning our next adventure